What's up guys, Jay, more than I ever kill, and welcome back to my motherfucking man cave for another episode of Morning After Kicks, the first that I'm actually doing in probably about like what, two, three months? I think the last one of these videos I did was when the bread ones came out. Me and my girlfriend, we camped out at the mom and pop cop shop all night long doubled up on them bread ones but yeah i think this is the first one of two or three months yeah had the destiny dlc bunch of other games came out and now everybody's dealing with this youtube algorithm problem and i've actually been working on going a little bit full time on twitch so i've been busier than a motherfucker but that does not mean that i still haven't been on my grind because those of you guys that's been watching my more than after kicks videos for the last year or so you know that there's one pair of shoes that have eluded me. I usually have good luck copping. Like today, I, ac I accidentally copped four pairs of Space Jams. I haven't received any order confirmations on them yet, which is why I'm about to go with my girlfriend out to Philly to Lapstone and Hammer and also City Blue. And we're going to go ahead and check them out to see if they have any pairs laying around still that people haven't picked up. Because... They seem to be super widespread, but without an order confirmation, I don't feel very confident that I have my pairs locked down, especially, especially when my son wants a pair for Christmas. Even though he doesn't deserve it with his grades, he's probably gonna get a pair of Space Jams for Christmas, because, I mean, let, let's face it, they're a dope-ass fucking shoe. He's probably gone on and told all his friends for the last fucking few months, ah, I'm gonna get the Space Jams. Everybody's getting the Space Jams, right? <laughs> but yes, the one pair of shoes that has eluded me for over a year is I, I, I just, I couldn't for the life of me cop any Yeezys. And Yeezys actually just released three brand new colorways. They had the olive green. They also had the copper brown. And the solar red slash, well, I, I, I like to call it pink, the black and pink. It's a Yeezy colorway from the old school Nikes, but uh, they, they call it red, but it looks more pink to me. And I struck out again. I struck out on, I, I wouldn't say a GR of Yeezys, but I struck out on a limited widespread release of Yeezys. So I, I have no fucking luck copping them. Even when I, oh man, let me tell you this story. When the Belugas came out. Um, one of my boys on Twitter, Scom, he hit me up. He's like, yo, my boy, he's got a cart for a size 10 and a half pair of um, belugas. You can have the cart for free. And I went to go check it out, and they didn't take PayPal. So I, I asked my girlfriend, I'm like, let me get your fucking credit card. Let me go ahead and fucking do this, right? And she spent the money on the credit card the night before a Yeezy release, and we didn't have enough to pay for the goddamn thing on the credit card. So here I am holding my fucking dick, pissing in the wind, because I got fucking a couple hundred dollars in my PayPal ready to PayPal for these fucking Yeezys. And I can't, because I got them in cart, but I can't pay for them, because they only take credit cards on that release. So I struck out, too. So I said, I said, fuck it, man. I saw that these V2s, they were going for probably about, like, five, six hundred dollars on resale, which is stupid low for what Yeezys usually resell for. I think the Pirate Black, the 350s, they usually go for like $900 to $1,000. Um, You've even seen uh, some of Yeezys 750 Glows going for like $1,100, $1,200 again. Even though they drop down a little bit, they pop back up just a bit. And I, I'm not spending $1,000 on a pair of fucking shoes. But you know what? Last week I was a little bit depressed or sad, you know, with uh, having to bury my um, second mother in the I was like, you know what, fuck it, man. I'm pulling the trigger. I'm getting the goddamn fucking pair. And let's just go ahead and throw the box down here. Boom! We got a pair of Yeezy Boost 350, size 11, because these actually run super small. I usually wear a 10 in Jordans, uh, and 9 and a half in NMD Primates, and I also wear a 10 and a half in Ultra Boost. So I, I went to 11 just to make sure that I got the pair that'll fit. And I'm glad I did because these just fit perfectly. I can even go to an 11 and a half in these. So if you're looking for a pair of Yeezys and you're getting the V2 350s, go ahead and size up a full size over what your Jordan is, a half up from what your Ultra Boost size is. And if your Ultra Boost size and your Jordan size is the same, then I'd probably say go up a half from that because you probably have a really narrow foot. However, me, I have a pretty wide foot, so I always have to size up 
just a little bit, but yes, we got the black and red, or what I like to call the black and pink Yeezy 350 boots. I actually copped these off another YouTuber out there. Um, he's just starting out. His name is Tea Time. He's got his own uh, channel, Tea Time's Kitchen. I'll probably link him in the description down below, but look at this. We're going, bump, 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 bump. Hot damn! <laughs> Would you take a look at that shoe? That is a, an absolutely amazing looking shoe. It's a lot better looking in person. We go ahead and uh, zoom in on here. You'll see that through the prime knit, you can actually see that the pink pattern shows up through the black knit as well. And you can see the Yeezy Supply 350. Or some people say it stands for St. Pablo Loves You. But um, we're just going to stick with Supply 350, especially since Kanye's website is um, Yeezy Supply. But um, yeah, you got the um, three stripes inside the tongue back there. You got a little bit of the padding on the inside. If, uh, I'll go ahead and pull out the uh, insole because everybody's going to be like, I've never seen the insole and make sure they're not fucking fake. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I legit check these 100%. You go ahead and um, take a look right there. We got... The nice and clean Adidas leaf right there, the trifoil leaf. There's no bleeding in there. The I is separate from the A. And then um, if we go ahead and flip it over, you can see that my Adidas sign is um, not focusing. There you go. Um, that should probably be the best I can get it going on right there. But yeah, nice pair of fucking shoes. I, I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to, but like I said, I was a little bit depressed, and I needed a little bit of that retail therapy, and I, I'm super glad that I pulled the trigger on these, especially since I waited, because I really wanted the 750 glues, right? But you can't really wear a pair of 750s on a daily basis, or with, like, you know, normal clothes. You're, you're gonna have to go with something a little bit more fashionable, you know, and these 350s, I, I feel like they fit the bill a little bit better for just like an everyday casual type of wear. Even though I'm not going to wear them every day, um, you still could wear them every day. You see, you got the um, boosts on the bottom, a little bit different than the uh, V1 boosts. You can see instead of having the Dragon Balls, they have these kind of dash marks instead of the uh, circular Dragon Ball nipples. Um, you can see that this right here is actually... Um, it, it, it's built like an Ultra Boost. You see that the sole is, you know, 100% full length. And then right here is where the cage connects. And this is covering the exposed boost. So um, I'm pretty sure you might be able to heat this up and expose the boost and have a pair that look like Ultra Boost. But why would you? Why would you? This is absolutely beautiful shoe. One of my favorite things is if you take a look at the teardrop shape of the shoe. Like I said, since I have a wide foot... This hides the fact that I have a wide foot. Like, NMDs and Ultra Boost, I kind of bulge out at the top of it, and you could see it, unless I'm wearing, like, a dark pair or a pair with a lot of, like, pattern on them. But, um, these, these hide my wide foot quite, quite considerably. I'm very happy with my purchase, so, um, fucking A, man! I got a pair of Yeezys! Finally! I'm, I'm gonna wear these today while I'm going out to look for another pair of Space Jams, because... Like I said, without that order confirmation coming in from Nike, Villa, or Finish Line, cop four fucking pairs just to make sure I get it, because if I don't cop it, then I can just, you know, go and return them back if I have too many pairs. Or I could try to hook some people up for fucking retail in the uh, sneaker groups, help some guys out, pick up their pairs, because, you know, it's, it's, it's Christmas time. Show a little bit of spirit. Space Jams are a hard shoe to get. They're a fucking coveted iconic shoes so maybe maybe we'll hook a few people up out there with a dope retail steal but fucking a man i do want to say a big thank you to tea time for hooking it up with not only just a pair of yeezys but this is this is like what i consider the morning after kill edition pair of yeezys right you got the black and pink on there really fucking awesome and you know i i, I this is my favorite part of the shoe actually if you take a look and we zoom in on there you can see that stitching all down the back and how the, the pink just shows up through the black and I don't know man I'm really fucking feeling these and I, I can see why there are people out there that spend you know six seven eight hundred dollars on a pair of these after having a pair 
you know, in hand, on foot, for the first time. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. And I'm, I'm glad to see that Yeezys are coming down in resale price. And, you know, people, like, I'm, they're still a little bit unobtainable with the price. But it's not out of there where, you know, not everybody out there can cop them. If you have a little bit of extra money you save up. Or maybe you have, like, a Christmas come up. And you're like, man, you know, I, 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 no more presents. Just one present. This is all I want is a pair of fucking Yeezys. A lot of people can swing, you know, $500 on resale, but for $1,000, uh, man, even, even I have a hard time justifying that purchase, because that right there is, is literally a fucking car. You can go out and buy a decent car for $1,000 instead of a pair of Yeezys, and I, I, I just, I can't co-sign that shit. Not at all. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So once again, I do want to thank you guys for watching, but more importantly, I want to thank all y'all motherfuckers for all your support. Not just last week, but the entire month of November was just one of the worst months of my life. And I very much do thank that you guys are there for me to help me get through these types of things. So... Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thanks for watching. My name's Jay, we're the Afterkill, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.